city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Duck. Well, we had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Look at this junk. Not my job to pick through other people's trash. I'm gonna try to get my bread here. Jesus. Probably with the buds to pick up Cole, come take a look at this. Ralph, with me. Do your job, I'll do mine. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps.
What have you got, Phelps? Anything? Doesn't look like anything. I just gotta do the case, I remember it. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys Smith think we are? Wesson, serial S71893. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Sink over here. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? You know sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Sure about this. It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. My bad. My runaway will. My bad. Oh. Okay. Suspect is me. Don't pull over into my fucking lane, you fucking dopey cunt. Officer's done. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plate, royal grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> Not suggesting he's the owner. No, I um, know a lot about the weapon. I sold it. This piece will stop a rhino. Our only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 7, Cole. You see it on there?
We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Gless Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Please to think. Probably just like one person. Time. Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Hey Cole, let's get me. Wait, our police car's fixed. You hear the so sirens hard, coming. Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using oh. a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's close. no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. I was a bit close. That was a little bit, a little bit too close. A little bit. Schroeder, Harbin 2. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. You ready, tough guy? Oh. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. I don't think so.
list of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner, and leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. sons of bitches get in this line now before i lose my temper excuse me sergeant but excuse me fuck you you say another word and i'll head and have you in the brig some of us are here for they're here ass wipe i'm having a bad day people don't seem to want to get on this bus I didn't ask for your help he didn't ask for your help can you believe this guy too abbott and costello we're here for us it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for ocs god help this fucking country in the usmc the japanese all the favor and quick all three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? Oh, that Elliot. Elliot bus over this is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to... place cold a city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water it heard the story you were here to fight the good fight solve cases right wrongs forces like politics no city on the fence you have to choose sides a brown paper envelope or a greyhound ticket to palookaville it could only ever end all units to two lesson shots fired at westlake savings and loan 1415 west third street Unit to handle identifying code 3. 14 Adam, KGPL. We'll handle the two of them. Roger that, 14 suspects are dangerous. KGPL, 14 Adam on route. Phelps, we don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a, a chance to chance, copper. kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Put head up. We got them all? Might I as think well we got Clinton. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. 
If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. About officers like you and Boot They call it syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourselves. Why, you! He's hot! <laughs> Right there! Stop now or I will shoot! Again, Wendell! The gun? Watch your fire! You don't want to do this, Wendell! From there right now! Give it up, Wendell! Hell away from me! You gotta be kidding! You fucking asked for it! There's no way I'm going back inside! I've done my time. It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! <laughs> Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Come on, then. How you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in 10 years' time. Watch your head. Back in the Iron Hotel by... Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Eight, Donahoe, six, Kowalski, six, Hudson, five, Kelso, two, leadership, Donahoe, eight, Franklin, seven, Merrill, six, Kowalski, six, Weiss, five, Hudson, five, Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Every cop, there's gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you saw, the chills that you have to gush, the gung ho, the get up and make you stand out from your average rank and file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Hello, 
LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? I'm playing Assassin's Creed the audio. Call an ambulance? Oh, kept crying out the sound. We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand for and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. Across the 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter of the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight. A crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. C. Galetta, layaway receipt, pearl earrings, made out to Bank of Arcadia. It's a dead person. Shell case. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Sir, I'm Officer Fell. What exactly did you see? Uh, it's a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. I'm trying with a personality. To the witness that arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Hey, bitch, was that though? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. My friends. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage 
my boss bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. don't know who shot Gay. For every cop. The case that makes you gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from your average rank and file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight. Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. C. Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Shell casings. These look like 32s. FN Browning. Serial number 011138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Don't you... Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. I knew it wasn't safe around here. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Don't you people have anything uh, better to I, do? Can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> she was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, Bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. 
I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Coletta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Yeah. Which jewelry store? Hartfields, Broadway between fifth and sixth. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Uh... Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun, he kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Oh, X. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still mm -hmm. collect my... My... Crazy. Never mind. <laughs> yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Mash my okay. Did you get what you grabbed down earlier? Huh? Did you put his food down? Yeah. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. A killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter.
officers. What can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Callu. Edgar Callu was his name. Thing looks like it had never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Callu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Here. That cherry pie was delicious. Boy, let's take it to Too late, Kalu. My wife is so dumb. She scared it orange juice for hours. Well, it's just a time to take car. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> the case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is over. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. 
This is your chance. Don't fail me. You got a chance? No, don't fail. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money, and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm done with you. Go flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. I need a confession. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money, and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm done with you. Go Fuck flap sake. your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. I remember. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. I need a confession.
Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. That's the one I was You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money, and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm done with you. Oh, fuck's sake. Go flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. I need a confession. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Only Whatever he got, he got what was coffee. coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you... You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. You hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not line. denying you're a Jew, Mr. Line. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy putt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. 
He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I That's ever put one. forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. I think I'm gonna smoke another joint and then eat some food and then and then and then and then buy some more weed and then I don't know I got that far ahead or it's just that balls rise and breathe Hot wheels, cars, and the shit. Uh. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along. I'm here to learn, Detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? <laughs> well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. All right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I'm partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. Do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda, Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can yeah, find. I'll do that in a bit. Come on, Phelps. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down on one way. Book Charles walking on his own again. This is 1947. They really 19... pushed. 27. She threw quick, didn't they? Of course, they? a girl can ask. Six years out. on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. 
What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. I gotta rub the cat notes, right? We got a stakeout down on second later tonight. I'm praying that those prints You're wasting come through, time. So Get out of here. Son of a bitch. I survived the war for this? Ah. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. I said all's fair in I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Well, there's a crime happening somewhere. Go find it. That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Now there's an oxymoron for you. I'm kind of lost in this building. The women don't find you handsome? They should at least find you handy. Hey, don't mind me. I changed my hat. Fuck knows. Not you want a medal and it's solving all. Oh my God. A year. What's he waiting for? Well, this day was a total. Our goddamn wedding.
Oh my god, dude, he's making that like a pot cup. All units of 459. Oh, so, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we Fikowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your gun at the ready, finished. The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Now fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riot. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. Are you blind? All units of 459 yes, just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K of 459. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Now, make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Hurry, you can still catch him. What a waste. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right.
This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. We're not done yet. Keep searching. You giving me the hi-hat? Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Happier times, I guess. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. tell me anything. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. The name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckoned I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Wilkie. If you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. Doc? Detective... Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Not much help. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood.
brand name might give us something to go on. Hey, Flatfoot, you're looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a... Any ideas? Have a word with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? I finally got pissed and I quit. Oh, jump. Uh, back in me, I'm going piss. Piss break.
of Bam Montage. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at the shoulder to cry on stuff. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Uh, we can discuss... This is in the living room. Please come in. Mark won't pick up then. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Not sure this means much. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Circumstantial. This isn't what we're looking for. Used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside.
time to look at everything, even though it don't mean nothing. Probably nothing. Why not? It doesn't appear to be connected. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. Hold so, joint. you're a friend of Courtney's. Yes, Doctor. Where is it? Where's the roach? He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions come out of my head. Yo. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you some oh, I anger. Going on. Subscribe to my YouTube. I've got the link above your name. Or above your message. Say hi nations YouTube anyway. I upload quite a lot. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember. I mostly live stream modern videos on 360. Occasions that made you laugh. On, on YouTube anyway. I get around all these missions so I can, well, this mission so I can roll this joint. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Where the fuck did I put the grinder? Phelps, badge 12. I don't know where I put the grinder. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's Bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks, ma'am. One second. Before I move anyway, I need to find my grinder. No way I'm picking this bud. No way. I just have my grinder. Is it? Yeah, found it. Got it. Oh, I'm not walking off to it. I'm quick to do the last bit of the investigation. Optimistic call. No use leaving the thing half finished. No, 
Oh, no worries. That looks wrong. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Or clue, but where? The music's still going on. Not certain clues that way. That's just cheating. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's why I ain't done. To my Adrian, this thing gets more and more interesting. I'm all right now. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Oh, I ain't paying attention. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very sh character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. 
I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Yes, I am accusing you. Your husband was going to leave you. That's motive. Now your only alibi is an empty house. Get it off your chest. Tell me the truth. Whatever your theories are, you're going to have to prove that I was there and that I wanted to hurt Do you think you can do that, detective? Find my husband, you incompetent fool, or the LAPD will be facing a lawsuit. Wrong. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Park up some emerald Jesus, journey. I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable. To
Right unlocking vehicles quicker. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. I'm trying to do Oh. My bad, bro. I found my own to park up. That's two bait here, I've got to park up this bait. You know what, park it. I found my parking spot.
Right, I'm rolling a jump. times fucking funny <laughs> let me turn the sound up on the TV a bit just you might be able to hear it Yeah. No. Oh, I don't do that shit no more. I gave up. That's child play. I don't do that no more. That's kid stuff. I hardly play Xbox One. I'm live streaming at the moment. I'll get someone to do it if you want. I thought. Oh, I'm getting phone call. Well, I'll go on. Yo. Yo. Paris or? No, I'm at home. Oh, I was gonna say, mate, jump on Discord. Been sitting here all day, mate, doing nothing. Yeah, I'm on um, Xbox One at the moment. Alright, fair enough. I'll join in a second. I'm live at the moment, innit? I'll join in a sec. Yeah, I'll call you. He's rolling. 
Where's the uh, Becky? people I'm just rolling a joint but we'll start moving again in a bit I'm rolling a joint weed comes first That's a nice jump. roll this let me just quickly put everything away my rolling table I need to put that back over there sorry dog didn't mean to squish ya sorry dog I said I didn't mean to squish ya chill let me close my bedroom door He's saying to poke this down quick. Okay, there's one. I'm almost ready to start playing again. I'll just roll this. You can type his stream chat if you want. I can see the chat. I think I made a... Yeah, there's a... Room as well, a 420 squad chat. Hi, <laughs> inspiration is online. Let me get him in the party.
may get Mr. High Inspirations in the party. A fellow streamer. He's a fellow streamer. High inspiration. Another streamer just come online. Dog the bounty hunter. What's going on, bro? Yeah. I'm just quickly smoking this joint, I'm just finishing this off this mission and shit. Uh, LA no. Oh, uh, it's alright. Do you want to include your audio in it? Just tick it. No. Yeah. What's up, Name World? Reason, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you streaming on Twitch? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'll put a link in your Discord, innit? Oh, I see. Yeah, Unlocking new vehicles. Unlocking new vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hell of inspiration. Video myself. Yeah, that's a hell of inspiration. I think I've unlocked this car already. I've unlocked this car. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna replace my batteries in a minute. No. I'm coming from my mic. Can you hear that? Officer needs help. I'm on the way. Yeah. 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 My settings have changed over again. I got the sound from the Xbox coming through my mic, if you know. Yes, shit. <laughs> themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my trouble. All right. I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right. I'll stay here and keep them busy. Let's go. By the back. I think I fixed it. Throw out the guns. Yeah, fixed it. You still hear me, right? Yeah. Over up the stairs, what's 
Oh, let me stay there, I'll see him. They hide in the shoe. I mean, what? Yeah, watch it out. Put the weapon down now. Put your weapons down and your hands. Boom. Boom. Bye. Bye. Car 11K. I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street. Globe loan and jewelry. It's called about 30 seconds. The suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. You? No, you don't. A Turk sandwich. Looking for some Frank. weight. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Everything was fine. Thank you, yes. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? That broad. Cole yeah, Phelps, Dr. LAPD. Yeah. I understand I you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You can just hear your lighter going in the background. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He, he wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black Hold Up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. I like Adrian. He's a good boy. How was he getting there? I don't know. Maybe a Greyhound? You guys ought to go try the terminal on Sunset. Bro. So Adrian isn't hurt? What's with all the blood? I don't know. It was dark. Bye, he must have caught a you nick on there. something. Yeah. You're lying, Morgan. You killed Black and hid the body. Where is it? 
Me? Over there, Morgan. Hey, all I did was help the fool. You're gonna need a lot more than that to prove that I heard him. I've had about enough of you two. How about you guys go find another table? Okay? This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. Oh, he's ringing me, but... Oh, he's ringing me. I don't answer random calls. <laughs> you sure left his drink in a hurry. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Yeah, I've just done that um, channel host thing, so if people go on my channel, they can see your live as well. Yeah. Yeah. Windows and... Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. <laughs> Let's check the place out. Day one of the big time, and you're Hi. already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was nonstop glamour working traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work on me. Apartment two. All right, let's pay our friend a visit, see if he's missed us yet. Who the hell is that? Would you rel- Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LAPD, give yourself up now! I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try to card. Tell you what, this game looks alright. Yeah. There's no point running, Adrian. It's the Xbox One version, isn't it? One version. Hmm.
Mr. Black, get back here right now. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, style too. too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. Dog's bad. Dog's bad. Yeah, for my other games are. Yeah, for my other games are. Iron Light, so I'm 53%. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd <laughs> Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on the Iron Light, so I'm 53% now. 54%. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. You catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. Um. Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Don't wait, Co. Don't wait, Co. We are following me. We are following me. Oh yes, oh yeah. Oh yes, oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Someone ought to take him home. He's loaded. Oh no. Okay, I'll go this way. I know this way. I'll go this way. Oh, that's fair. This town's going straight to hell. Oh, you're at a hospital, are you? Yeah. <laughs> you hear about Adrian? Yeah. He's brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says yeah, just hop in the ambulance. That's Women true. generally show more compassion. Might what as well. About. Adrian dumped on him. When is this game based? Um, not sure. Uh, Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. Hmm. Find it out on Google that when we got time. Oh shit. Oh shit. Look out! The handbrake on this game is mad. If you hold it for too handbrake. long, you free spin round. Yeah. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives.
Go be a miracle. Got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Be a miracle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. I want a miracle. Is diplomatic vehicle? Has anyone Don't touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Or it's probably LA because it's LA new. Or it's probably LA. It looks like LA. Most likely. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Empty. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Nope. I don't think this is going to help us. I don't think this is any use to us. So I'm ready to get myself a tag. Thank you. Everything here is going to be relevant. We'll make sure any evidence gets bagged and tagged, sir. Clear this area immediately. Why you're doing that, buddy? But I wish you'd stop. Well, I'll see if you know anything. Oops. This is a crime scene. All of you move along. I swear, this town going straight to hell. It's still closed because the still music's still playing. Music's still playing. Uh, I can't hear any music on it. Oh, I can. I can. I really not have a Twitch right stops it for copyright it's reason. Stopped. Jacobs? That's right. So I use it over non-copyright stuff. 
What exactly yeah. happened? What exactly? Mr. Jacobs. Yeah. Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Yeah, I gotta go find my lighter back now. Last night, I see this yeah. guy a new yeah. Packard up on bricks. I've got three in front of me. I've got three in front of me. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Hey, three times. Here's something interesting. Uh, it's freezing. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Why did you take the license plate? Me? But what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Scratching around in that book won't prove nothing. You should show me some respect. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, Maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Jacobs dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. You curious what he didn't want us to see? Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle. A degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. It is the only thing to take. It is the only thing to take. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, Michigan. please? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen? Please? Nice. What's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. 
Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Messages for me, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. No. You have him brought in. He's already here at Central Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. I'm turn my phone off as a one percent. Baseline kills. Baseline kills. wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Yeah, now I'm really stop. Now I'm really stop. I need an address on a Dewey Brothers Packard dealership. So many ads on Twitch. Going to church doesn't make any Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This has got to be the That was a bit close. We have caught this year. God damn. Me. Nice fashion by the way. <laughs> Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Oh the shit. Guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. <laughs> Oh shit. We didn't kill anyone. Then people are lucky. Are lucky. I was going to be a shock like, how did they not die? Slow down! Okay. Everything wants to break a step of that. Everything wants to break a step of that. Got a nice Move. dent in the back of the car. Oh fucking tree! <laughs> You're gonna kill someone. <laughs> fucking trees. I did not want to go down them stairs. 
I don't think that's made for stairs, mate. Oh shit. Oh, I just keep shutting on me. That's two dents in your car. That's right, when these cutscenes are done, for some reason it repairs them. No, you beanies is hiding from me. I will find you all and eat you. Yes, sir. Damn! Why did you play some oh, right. preparation H? Oh, wee! Benny's give me speed. <laughs> what are you doing? Get the hell you down from there, you Oh. Oh, come on, oh. jump. Ah, oh, blood. Ah, oh, blood. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bang, we saying? Bang, we saying? Oh, Go away, mate. Bye bye. Nice. Bye. Bye. Oh, dog, oh, shut up. No smoke. Smoke, come here. Right, let's go get these. Oh. Oh. Drift it, let's go. Drift it. Oh. 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 Sorry, mate. Can we try to oh, you turn it on. Well, get these people up my way then, and I'll we'll get in one piece. How can you crash in a car that way? Oh. oh yeah, that ain't gonna move. I'll move out of the way for that. That looks nice. Yeah, very nice, yeah, yeah, cool. Whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. These people are lucky. Oh! I was not expecting that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna Don't go around sitting all these cars. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. Ooh, We'd like to speak fuck. with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know... Oh yeah, I hit, out. um, 60 subscribers at 2 o'clock as well. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys your way. Lawless banners. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? 
Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. Seems irrelevant. Not about for all okay. Not about for all okay. Nothing. Maybe the guy under the car is actually using that. I bet a broad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. Maybe if they can't talk to him or anything. Incidental. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Check the bins. Oh, uh, doing it. Uh, <laughs> oh, mommy, I'm just unlocking their cars. I'm just unlocking their cars. I'm not on the car for it yet. I did unlock it, it's that one next bit. <laughs> Boss man, I'll just... Boss man, I'll just... Test some... Test some... Can you just drive away in one of them cars? Yeah. Oh, a policeman. Yeah. Oh, right. It would be really good to just drive away. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Two people watching, welcome other person. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. I'm posting a chat. Keep an eye on so Valdez was just okay. driving by and he saw the car. Yeah, something like that. Happens all the time. Oh, well not. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey. Uh, 
Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. I just realized what it says in your trap Stop rules. Stop lying to me, Dewey. The thieves work for you. You can't prove that. Go ahead and try. Like I said, my tools get stolen on a regular basis. You don't want to believe me? I'm not going to say anymore. Oh, we're we'll keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. I flowed that. Flowed that. <laughs> you know what? I like stay on my car for that. Look, look, he's getting in the car already. He's taking he's the car. He wants to take the car, look. You know what? Hey, is. <laughs> no. Hey, is. Oh shit, I've got a cell sign on it. I've still got the cell sign on it. Like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Do you think we'll be able to remove that? Third dimension would be Z. So things will be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. Oh, unbelievable. My bad. My bad. My bad. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies using color. And look what we have now. You trying to cause like a five car pilot? I'm trying to see in this dark tunnel. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was alright. Oh, 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 fucking hell, woman, oh, shit. That was close. <coughs> oh, smoke, let me jump. Oh, smoke, let me jump. Off of Let's see if he's good at climbing stairs. <laughs> Careful! Uh, okay. Oh, God, it's not gonna get up there. Oh. Ooh. Never mind, just walk now. Alright, I've got to take out a breather. Gabriel has to stay for a breather. I just hope Gabriel has to stay for a breather. Great food. Great food. What was this? What was this? The dog says food time, so. The dog says food time, so. Yeah, yeah. Shop, shop.